Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these tricks in Power BI, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell. Today we're going to be covering the selection pane and this is kind of coupled with our last lecture in the uh, with the bookmarks pane. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We have three simple tables here. I'll let you take a look at this really simple schema. Products, links to sales based on the product key, customers, link to sales based on the customer key. Pretty simple. I've built this little report uh, normal sales versus um, versus time data, number of customers buying products, a couple of slicers, and a title. Uh, so let's just jump into it. Um, in the sales, I have these two measures, title one, which is literally just, this is title one, which is what we see here, and another measure that's title two, this is title two. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna look, take a look at the selection pane. And the selection pane is cool because it allows us to click on items from this pane instead of having to click on them. But another really cool thing is it allows you to make something visible or invisible. So you can make all these invisible if you want. It's actually really cool. And coupled with the bookmark pane, this is super useful. So what we want to do is we want to make the bookmark pane visible, which is on the right for me. And I already have a couple bookmarks here, but I'm going to delete those and we will start over. So we, uh, first thing we want to do, if you click add, um, we will create this bookmark just like we did in the last video. We're going to make this our home page. Um, so that's really cool. For our second page, we are going to want to um, add a couple more visuals. For our second page, we're actually going to want to hide this off image. We're going to want to hide title one. And I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a couple more things. We're going to add a title. This is going to be where this is title two comes in to show you that we are actually changing um, the page here. Let's put this in the field well. Uh, we are going to want to put in another picture. I have an on button to show you the differences in the two pages again. Hopefully they line up decently. Uh, and let's give this a couple filters just to make the data look differently. Let's change the dates. Yeah, it looks it looks different now. Title two, green on button, and we're going to want to save a new bookmark. Let's come to the bookmark pane again and let's add and we will call this second page cool that's really cool now we have these two bookmarks uh, we have home uh, second page that looks like we want home we actually have to change again because now that we added these new visuals we're actually going to want to hide them and then update our bookmark so let's make that smaller we're going to hide this green image and title two let's hide that again and let's update our bookmark it's very important that you do that. So now when we click on our bookmarks, we have just what we want. Cool. Um, now we need to set up these images with links to these bookmarks. So let's go to the home. Since this is the home page, we're going to want to click on this format image, turn the link on and give it the type of bookmark and bookmark to second page. Since we're already on the home page, we want to link to the second page. And let's go ahead and click on second page and click on the image. Let's give it the link give it the bookmark and bookmark goes to home. So let's just take a look at what we've done so far. Uh, now that we have two pages, we can control click. And what do you know? It's a link to the other page. Uh, that's really, really awesome. So now using the selection pane to easily hide and um, show visuals, we can add those bookmarks to these pictures and be able to see two totally different reports all on one page. Take note that this is only on one page. This is really important in case you have a you have some criteria to where you can't have multiple tabs. A lot of people don't like to see multiple tabs, um, and this is a workaround for that. And if you line up these pictures properly, it could actually almost look like an on-off switch, but it's not lined up perfectly. But I'm sure you can do that with a little more detail. So if you like this, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe if you want, and I will see you in the next video.